So the first one we're going to talk is the virtual topology. And this tool eliminates edges that can mask the mesh. So let's uh, do a real example to understand better that. So grab a static structure analysis release here and import the virtual topology geometry step file and let's open the mechanical. So once you open this model, you're going to see that uh, there are a lot of edges in the model that when I try to uh, mesh this model, uh, the mesh is going to follow these split lines. And we're going to have small elements and bigger elements depending on, on the size uh, and on the distance between these um, split lines. So let's generate a default mesh just to, to check that. So I'm going to just put uh, three millimeters here just to define the thickness of this shell body and then right mouse button and generate mesh. Once the mesh is done, we can zoom in. And now we're going to see these elements uh, the size of this element is uh, much smaller than the other one and also you can see that the mesh uh, follows the split lines so I can really I, I really mask my mesh with the split lines that I have here and this can this happens in the, in the solid body the shell body you see also here the plate where I have a split line in here this face that I'm, I'm I highlight here and when we check the mesh we also see the mesh follows the size of the split line and the same thing happens here uh, with the um, solid uh, with the block that we created the mesh so to solve this problem you can create a vir virtual topology so um, click here in model right mouse but button and click on virtual topology so once you created the virtual topology you can select the, select the faces that you want to merge so let's say I want to merge all these faces here I selected all the faces that I want to merge right mouse button insert and you create a virtual cell so you see your virtual cell is highlighted here and if I generate a mesh again, uh, you're going to see that we have um, the mesh. It's done not following the split lines that I have. So I have a, a much uh, better mesh here that does not follow the split lines that we have in the model. Uh, and let's say, for example, I want to create uh, more virtual cells in this plate, for example. I just click in here, insert virtual cell. Let's say I want to create another virtual cell. I selected the face, I select the face, insert virtual cell. So you see that we have uh, three virtual cells now. And if you generate the mesh, uh, you can check that there is no elements following the split lines that we have. Um, before. So these uh, tools, the virtual cell helps a lot when you have uh, small, when you have edges and you have small faces that you don't want to have it and you don't want your mesh to follow these split lines, this edge that you have in the model. So one um, big possibility in side ends is and to not come back your geometry for the CAD and, and uh, remove the, the, the split lines that this adds, you can just create a virtual cell and get uh, better mesh results doing that. See you in the next video.